Hey guys, Will Patson here again and welcome to another Illustrator CC tutorial. Now today is going to be a really simple tutorial but it's going to help you with understanding some of the cool new features within Illustrator CC. So if you're not in Illustrator CC, maybe you're in like a lower version of CS6 or CS5, then you might not be able to do any of this or I can tell you now you won't be able to do much of what I'm trying to show you now um, because there's a few things that are different within CC that is going to help us to do this today. So today I'm going to show you how to create this in under a minute uh, and this is sort of like a banner and you can do it with the corners, uh, with the rounded corners or with just normal corners but I did it with the rounded corners because this is coming to fashion um, if I get my words right. This is coming to fashion and sort of the roundness of it helps illustrate the sort of slab text as well. So you can actually write text in here as well. Let's say slab uh, text and if I just show you here I'll just get this up and then I'll change this to something like um, I want to do slab text I'll do I'll do this text here I mean actually no we'll do this um, and if I was to make this different I'm trying to do this as fast as I can for you guys with it looking okay um, 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 what am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah, so basically, it helps illustrate the slab text here. So I'm trying to show you here, but it's quite hard to do because I've done it in the totally wrong order here. But yeah, the um, it helps the the rounded corner. Sorry, should I say? I should really start this video again. But I'm not going to bother because hopefully you guys can understand. But um. These rounded corners help illustrate the uh, big slab text. Whereas if I was to uh, go over it again, um, and I was to make them um, not rounded for any reason, if I can actually do that, well, I can't anymore. But if I was to make them not rounded for any reason, and uh, people would like it. But this is also a cool little thing where you can make it oval here and I'm going to show you how to do this really easily. So the first thing you start off with is um, a rectangle uh, like so and I've got a black fill on, uh, sorry no, a black stroke on not a black fill and I've used this sort of um, rich black, I call it black one and it's a spot colour and this gives you rich black, it doesn't give you that horrible grey black and if you don't understand what I'm talking about then go ahead to preferences. Uh, wherever it's gone, I'm going to press command K and then go to the appearance of black and then display all blacks accurately and output all blacks accurately will help you understand what I mean because in the swatch if I was to have any of these like uh, all the way down and then key all the way up which is black then you'll just get this horrible grey colour but with rich black you're given a perfect mix of each uh, sort of section of colour so that's cyan, magenta, yellow and key. There's a whole video on my channel about it, you guys can go and have a look there. Okay so we've got our thing here, um, we've got no fill, we've just got a stroke. So the next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and create some more anchor points. Because we need to make a banner uh, but we've only got four anchor points and that's one in each corner. And there's a really easy way of doing this without having to use a pen tool or the add anchor point tool. We can uh, highlight this, go to object, go down to path and then press add anchor points. And what this does is it adds an anchor point in each sort of section here uh, halfway in between the other anchor points which is really neat and it's really cool because then it's perfectly in the center. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, with my direct selection tool is highlight this anchor point here hold shift and move it this way a tiny bit and then get it into position and then I'm going to eyeball this, so I'm going to do the exact same thing over here, but you could just reflect it. But if you're creating vintage stuff, it doesn't really matter if it's not perfect all the time. Uh, it's sometimes it's okay. I'm just going to do that, so it's not perfect. But now we can see we've got here um, the proper pointed corners. But if I was to select this um, ribbon or banner, and then press A. In Illustrator CC, we have these little dots in each corner, and that is the rounded dots. So this can round your corners. So when you click in, it rounds the corners of where you are, and it gives you this cool effect. So no longer do we have to go up to effect stylize round corners. We can actually just go in round corners now, which is really easy and cool because then we don't even need to uh, uh, sort of expand it or anything to make it into a proper shape. It's still one path, which I think is unreal and it's really good fun. Okay, so then 
we've created this and I mean if you wanted to you could change this side here to make it a bit different I mean you can just do these two and then do this do these two then do this which will give you a cool little uh, sort of indent in your banner but if you're looking for what I'm looking for like this you've got that next thing I'm going to do is just going to bring this in a tiny bit then I'm going to highlight these again uh, make it less rounded here so less indented bring it out a tiny bit to smoothen it out and then I'm wanting to make an arc like we did before so the easiest way to do this is to highlight it go up to object envelope distort and make with warp and there's a, like a hotkey command that I can't remember there and I'm using an arc a horizontal and a bend of 31% which looks really nice or what you could do is you could uh, lock this layer by pressing command 2 add your text in slab we can actually type slab text for the win. I can add this up here, like so. I can go ahead and you know change the kerning or whatever. I can center it. I can outline it. Oops. Outline it and then center it, sorry, even. And then I can go ahead highlight this object path no object envelope distort make with warp okay and it'll give you this really cool banner effect to an illustrator and that is how it's done with an illustrator it looks really cool especially when you use um, like now you can just go ahead and expand it all um, which will give you a really cool look I don't know if the strokes been the stroke hasn't been expanded yet um, so what you want to do is object path outline stroke and it'll outline the stroke as well like so which is cool and that is how you do it basically that is just one big shape there now and you can add uh, textures to it if you wanted to um, but you can't change the thickness of this anymore but it looks really nice it's really fun and easy to do and it's a really good thing to start off a piece of work with because then you can put it down a bit bring this up and then do your work down below and I thought you might like this tutorial it might have given you a bit of help with the rounded corners and stuff like that. I've got an also another bit of an announcement to make and that is that I've got a t-shirt design course coming up on Curious. I don't know how much it will be but it's definitely affordable. You get 10 lessons or about 12 to uh, 15 minutes uh, long each and basically it's really interactive way of learning and it's going to support me directly um, with doing more videos. So if you guys are avid fans of Illustrator uh, and of the sort of work that I do then go ahead and check that out I'm on curious.com forward slash William Patterson or Will Patterson or something and basically I will let you know in a video when the course is ready to come out because I think you guys will like it it's all about designing t-shirts uh, in your way so I'm not going to show you how to design a t-shirt I'm going to show you exactly the theory behind designing them and the processes I take when designing them so then you basically it's going to help you in the long run because uh, you can create your own t-shirts and get all the credit for it so it's going to be awesome and i can't wait to see you guys go on there what else is there i don't think there's much i think there's patreon you can go check me out on patreon and support me there if you like you get free videos um, and you get free files of all the tutorials that i do as well so go check me out on there but thanks so much for watching guys you guys are amazing We've hit over 7,000 subscribers and it's absolutely mind-blowing how cool this is going to, how this is going. Because I said I wanted to reach 10,000 subscribers and we're basically reaching that like halfway through the year. So that is awesome. So thanks so much for watching guys and I'll catch you on my next video. Stay tuned. Goodbye.